Hi, this is Sandy at rhinestonetemplates.com and um, I'm going to work a little bit on some transfers tonight and actually I'm just finishing up a bunch of orders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, just kind of how I work with different transfers that have um, more than one color in them and some of the little tricks that I do too. And I'll be glad to share those with you as I go. I don't like just to show you um, what I'm doing, I like to kind of show you how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it so it makes a little bit more sense for you and hopefully makes your job just a little bit easier too. The first thing that I always do before I start is I grab a piece of transfer that um, has been already used on a transfer and I go over, I peel it off and I just go over my workstation. This is easy lift workstation. We have these on our website. This is um, a yellow one. I have them in different colors. But anyway, I go over just to get the dust and the debris, any hair or lint or dust that could be on it from having it being stored in a shelf or in a drawer before I start. So I don't have any extra flock or anything on it. And you'll be amazed at what you pick up on that. And I also take, this is one of the templates that we're going to be using. It's a three-part template, actually four, but we're going to eliminate the fourth one and just use three. And then um, I'm going to hand place the last couple of stones because it's just like six stones and it's not worth, or maybe eight not worth doing a whole template over. But um, on each piece, just go over it and clean it. You know, and like I said, you'll be amazed at what you pick up off of the template because you're going to be layering these templates on each other. And the last thing you want to do is transfer any um, dust or extra flock or anything like that onto your next layer of your template. This particular template is uh, one of my Halloween designs that I have, and it's also available as a download on my website. And this, I'm glad we are doing this, because this, uh, I've been using these most of the last two or three days doing an order, and I have a lot of dust on that, that particular one right there. Let's turn it over. And this is how I store my templates, too. It's on the, the white backer from... Um, transfers after I'm done. I save that material. I try to re reuse whatever I can whenever I can. And um, that's how I just I store it. You can store it on the back of the how the HTW comes. There's a, a um, paper backer that's white too that you can do that. Now I could put this, if I hadn't used it a lot and didn't pick up a lot, I could take and put this back on, on my white backer piece and save it for another time. But I've really picked up a lot of stuff you know, on it and a lot of, it's not yellow fibers that I've picked up, it's actually dust. You can see the dust on there, so I'm going to discard that and get rid of that. So we've gone ahead and we've prepped up our workstation. Then you go and check your brush. Check your rhinestone brush. Make sure you don't have any stones or studs or anything left in there from the time before that might transfer over onto your um, workstation. So I'm going to be working with a rhinestone brush. I'm going to be working with my rhinestone scoop, rhinestone pencil. And I'm going to be working with um, a couple of clamps, and you can use whatever whatever kind of clamps you have around. You can even use clothespins if you want. These particular ones I got from the dollar store, and I learned this little this little trick from Kevin over at Easy Stones in one of his videos, so he needs to get credit for that. But um, I work with my workstation that has always has a runner piece over on the far side to attach transfer tape to. But um, using the trick that I learned from Kevin, I'm actually going to take, and you cut, you, my transfer tape is cut way, way larger than what it needs to be for my template. So this is my piece of transfer tape, and I'm going to move this over so you can see what we're going to do here. And um, what I'm actually going to do, in here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take, and first I'm going to put down my first layer of my three-part templates. I need my transfer tape out of the way here. Bring this back over and go ahead and let's put this down. The material that we're working with for a template material today is the HTW material and I am a distributor for that. That's on my website. You can see that it comes in a few different colors. And uh, it has a, it's a thinner material than some other flock materials, but it has a really sticky, much stickier backing um, on the back, so um, it works really, really well. Stones flow into it really good, too. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep my transfer tape. And I want to, you guys to see how I do that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel it. put 
my backer piece aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay it down over my template. And I want it, I want it to extend far over my template on the side over here. So this piece of transfer tape is far larger than what I need. But what I really want to do is I'm going to come over to my black sticky strip over here. It's actually not sticky, it's where I stick the, the product to. And um, you can see here that this extends beyond it. You can either just take and fold this over if you want. Or the new trick that I've been doing is taking these clamps and just clamping it down just to make sure it's going to stay put where it's supposed to be. Then go ahead and take, can you see that okay? Yep, I've got those clips on there. And then just take and go ahead and roll your transfer tape off of your work area. If it doesn't stay back on its own, then just secure it down with something to hold it down. But most of the time it will, it will, uh, it will stay on its own, you know, off over on that side over there. Um, we're going to be using four different colors. And let's see, the first color that we're going to use, um, let's go, this is our outside of our pattern. So we're going to go with orange. So I'll go ahead and pull our orange over here. Pull over our orange and dump a lot. The more stones you dump in, the easier and faster your template is going to fill. So I dump a lot of stones down knowing I'm going to be picking up a lot of stones, but the stones are weighted so they go, if you've got your whole size right, they're weighted so they're going to go in there, the right side up, and they're actually, the other stones that are there with it are pushing them in, turning them over, rolling them over, and getting them in the right side. We have one that is the wrong color, so let's just pick that up and get that out of there. back and get that little guy in there. That's looking pretty good, so let's take these off. With this HTW material, the stones stay in there really well when you're taking and removing your other stones off. There's one missing, let me just put him in. Okay, we got one missing over here. Alright, got him in there. And there's one missing down on the bottom of the A and one USD upside down right there. And I've got actually one missing there. I want to show you what I do for that. So first let's get these off of our workstation. And I just use my rhinestone scoop to take and pull these off. Make sure I keep my work area nice and clean. Last thing you want to do is transfer some stones over from one one uh, area to another. There, stick the corner back down there. Okay, and let's put the cover on that. Okay, over here then I've got a couple of USD, so let's go ahead and um, just take, and I'm just pulling that out of there, and I'm going to put it back in the right side up. I'm using the, our rhinestone pencil to do that. It has a little sticky on it, and I need a couple other ones, so I left a couple out here. Bottom of E looks good, the N, the O, that looks good. Here's an extra one over in our W, so let's get that in the right spot and get him out of there. But I do need one up here in the 11. So I went ahead and I put that one up there on that, not the 11, on the, on the L for the Halloween. So um, that looks pretty darn good to me. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take my tape. And because I have it attached, it's not going to move. So I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to move this so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to take my hand and as I'm starting to drop it, I'm going to come right up to my template with my hand down on it and drop it so there's not a lag at all in the material. 
so I can pick up my stones really, really well. And I'll just run softly over this with my brush. Make sure I get all the stones, and if we don't, we can go back and grab them. And when you roll that off, you want to keep that off your, your area that you're working on, so that you can go ahead and work again. Now go ahead and grab my second layer. And I like to line up one side usually. I'll go to my top up here, and I'll come down to my bottom and line that up. And then I'll just kind of roll it down. And they usually line up pretty good if we've if we've done a good lineup on our um, getting our weeding um, boxes good. They'll line up real good. And I know this is nice and clean because I've already prepped it now. Um, before we started, so there's no need to do that now. And I don't want the dust around on my transfer tape anyway, so I like to do that before. This layer is going to be my lemon yellow. And again, I'm going to dump a lot of stones out here. Maybe a little bit more. Because again, the stones are going to help the other stones flow in. Check your brush. My brush doesn't have any orange, you know, from the time before, so we're good. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these flow into my, into my pattern, or into my template. These are Korean um, low lead stones that we're using today. And uh, when we do our transfers, you know, in orders, we can do the Korean low lead or we can do Swarovski or we can do the machine cut, whatever anybody would need to have done. We have put into their, their transfers. We're on Facebook if you'd like to come on over and see us on Facebook. We're under rhinestonetemplates.com or um, the transfer, the wholesale transfer page is Bling Diva USA. You feel free to come and join us and like us over on Facebook if you'd like. All of our newest designs are usually shown there before they ever hit our website. We do have lots of downloads and um, transfers, temp pre-cut templates. Um, whatever you need, as well as supplies and materials on our, our website as well. I'm just going to scoop up our stones and get them out of our way. And we'll come back and we'll look and see how we're doing if we need any stones anywhere. I'll leave just a couple on my mat in case we do. I've got a USDU here and upside down. So I'm taking that, putting that on my workstation, turn it over, bring it back, and slide it in there. I've got one missing from the top of the E. W looks good, the O looks good, the H looks good, A, L, L, and that looks good. So, whoops, here's an extra one right here. So let's get rid of those guys, put them back in our container. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up our second color, and I have my um, transfer tape way off over to my side, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it over, and I'm going to work it just like I had on the first layer. So I'm going to bring my hand down and work it up to the part where I have my um, template actually, and you can see my hand over here, template weeding box sitting, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just kind of roll it down, and you can see as you're rolling it down, Everything is lining up really good for that second color. So it went ahead and it's down. So now my job is it's all lined up and ready to go. And the clamps um, are holding it really tight over on my side. So now because this is a second color, and I've already picked up another color, so it's sitting a little higher because it's not in the, the bottom of the, um, the second, the first color isn't in the template. It's kind of sitting above. I'm going to go ahead and just take my rhinestone brush, and I'm just going to work over the, um, the lemon yellow color here that I'm picking up now so that it can actually go down you know lower than what that orange color is and pick those up because they're kind of sitting down because they're in the in the holes of the template there. So I'm going ahead and just going over this just working my brush over this so it kind of picks up all those stones and if I um, leave any behind. That's not going to be a problem. I can just come back with my finger and just touch it with the tape and it'll pick them right up. So, just making sure I have those really good. 
And now I'll just go ahead and roll the tape back. And like I said, if any of them, if I missed any of them, we'll just go ahead and there's one. So just use your finger and just hit it. There's one in the W there. And all of those picked up really well. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and roll this back. Now that's the second time because it's the second color that I went ahead and I've rolled it back. And now I don't like to layer my templates more than two templates high. So because otherwise it, it can actually make a difference how you're rolling your transfer tape over. So now I'm, I'm just going ahead and pulling off my second layer that I had and I'm going to reattach it onto my um, transfer tape backer that I had before and I'm grabbing my third color and you work with this third color just like you did you know lining up for that second color. You can see I still have my first one down here so I'm just going to take the one corner here and line that up and I'm going to take my second corner and line it up and then just take your hand and work it down and it should line up just perfect with your weeding boxes to go ahead and fill it. The third color that we're going to put on our Halloween um, transfer here that we're making is going to be our um, our sunset stones. So I'm going to go ahead and just flood those into the out of the template here, and that's just going to be the colors of the spiders. So it's going to pick up different colors, which I think is going to look really good. So I just flooded that into the spiders. If for any reason you have any that don't aren't going in and you just want to move on, you know, just a couple of them, you'll have your rhinestone pencil to put those in. But as you can see, they're all flowing in pretty good. There's a couple here that I'm just going to go ahead and leave out so we can work with that rhinestone pencil a little bit so I can show you again how to use that. So right now I'm just kind of pushing them out of the way. Get them off into one area and then I'll use my rhinestone scoop to pick those up. I also use these rhinestone scoops to clean off um, a weeding mat after I'm done cutting a template. I just take a little bit of extra of my HTW flock um, and just put it on the outside of my um, my rhinestone scoop here, and then I just take and scrape and scrape all the dots off and throw them in the garbage so you don't have to worry about you know weeding it or um, cleaning it afterwards. You can just do it like that. I've got a few extra here, so I'll just roll them off over the side in case we need them. I've got a, a USD right here, so we're going to get rid of that one, and let's put a new one in there. USD is an upside down stone. And you just touch with your pencil and get that in there, and then just kind of touch your, your flock and roll it off. That looks good. Get rid of that one. That one's a USD, so we'll replace that with that one. I think this looks good. So now we're going to roll down our third layer. And we do it exactly the same way. Just grab your um, sheet that you have clamped off on the side. Then just take your hand and start moving it down towards your, your pattern here. And just go ahead and roll roll it on down and everything will line up really really good and I'm just going to go ahead and run my brush over those sunset stones for the spiders. Now at this point I still, all I have left are eyes to put on this and I'm going to go ahead and instead of making a whole template that is uh, 11 by 11 or however big the size is here I'm just going to take and I'm just going to freehand a couple of eyes on each one of the spiders and that's real easy to do so you don't have to cut out a whole template piece of template material for that. And how I do that is um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, pull my, make sure all my spiders come up out of the template. A couple of stones. 
stones, pick it up, okay. And now I'm just going to roll it back, and I'm going to move this so you can see what I'm actually doing here. I'm just going to roll it back a little bit. I'm going to drop a couple of hot pink stones on my template right there, and you want those upside down. And I'm just going to take and place those for eyes on those spiders so that we can... Here, I don't think you can see that. There you go. And uh, so we don't have to make a whole template for that. There we go. There's no sense making a template for just eight little rhinestones here. I mean, you can if you, if you want to. But it's real easy with the rhinestone pencils just to place those. I'm going to go ahead and keep that roll back for a second. Get rid of these pink stones with my rhinestone scoop. And then I'm going to peel off my um, templates here. Get them stored back over and then we'll pull, pull our transfer tape back so you can see and put the cover on it so you can see what it looks like. use these templates over and over and uh, they last really really well. They have a lot of good stick on the back. As long as you take care of them, clean your mats ahead of time, clean your mats, um, your templates and stuff and they'll perform for you for a long time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down so you can see what it looks like so I can see too to make sure that I haven't missed anything. And that's the transfer that we just made. That's actually a four-color transfer that we just made with the bookend method by putting, you know, your material either over on your, your strip over here or clamping it down, you know, like we did there, too. So this is Sandy Joe from rhinestonetemplates.com. And try this book hinge method and see if it works for you for your layering. I think you're going to find that things are going to line up really, really well. Thank you.